I need to show you something weird. See this? This looks like regular fat supplement, right? Wrong. Three months ago, a cattle producer sent me before and after photos that I literally didn't believe were real. Same animals, same time frame, but the difference was insane. Not just weight gain, I'm talking about coat shine that looks photoshopped and muscle definition that shouldn't be possible without growth hormones. So I flew out to his ranch, tested his cattle myself, and discovered he's using a specific type of fat supplement that triggers something in the bovine metabolism that most ranchers have never even heard of. The crazy part? It costs less than what you're probably using right now. Let me break down exactly what this is. Here's what nobody tells you about fat supplements. Most ranchers think all fats are created equal. They grab whatever's cheapest at the feed store, throw it in the ration, and hope for the best. But here's the problem. Not all fats work the same way in a cow's digestive system, and this is where 90% of cattle producers are literally throwing money away. The supplement this rancher was using is called bypass fat, also known as rumen protected fat or encapsulated fat. Now, before your eyes glaze over with technical terms, stay with me, because understanding this one concept will completely change how your cattle perform, and the visual difference, you'll see it in less than 30 days. Here's what's happening inside your cow right now. When you feed regular fat, corn oil, soybean oil, animal tallow, it hits the rumen first. The bacteria in there immediately attack it, break it down, and here's the ticker. They actually destroy most of its energy value before it ever gets absorbed. You're paying for fat that never makes it into your animal's bloodstream. It's like filling up your truck's gas tank, but half of it leaks out before you even start driving. But bypass fat? Completely different story. This stuff is coated with a special protective layer usually made from calcium salts or other pH-sensitive compounds. It slides right through the rumen without getting destroyed, travels down to the small intestine where the pH changes, the coating dissolves, and boom, the cow absorbs nearly 100% of that fat's energy. That's why the same amount of bypass fat delivers almost double the usable energy compared to regular fats. Now, you might be thinking, okay, that sounds good for weight gain, but what about that crazy coat shine you mentioned? Hold on, because this is where it gets really interesting. And this is the part that most feed consultants won't even tell you. When your cattle absorb high quality fats properly, something incredible happens at the cellular level. Those fats don't just turn into body weight. They get incorporated into every cell membrane in the animal's body, including the hair follicles and skin cells. This improves what's called membrane fluidity, which basically means every cell in your cow's body starts functioning better. Nutrient absorption improves, hormone production balances out, and the sebaceous glands in the skin start producing higher quality oils that coat each hair shaft. The result? That deep, natural shine that makes your cattle look like they just stepped out of a show ring. And here's something even better. This isn't cosmetic. That shine is actually an external sign of internal health. When you see that coat glow, you're looking at an animal with optimized cellular function, better immune response, and more efficient feed conversion. But wait, there's a mistake I see all the time that completely ruins these results. Ranchers bypass fat, they're excited, they dump a huge amount into the feed all at once, and then they wonder why their cattle get diarrhea, go off feed, or show zero improvement. Here's what they don't understand. You have to introduce bypass fat gradually. The cow's digestive system needs time to adapt. Start with just two to three ounces per head per day. Mix it thoroughly into the ration. After one week, bump it up to four to five ounces. By week three, you can go to six to eight ounces, which is the sweet spot for most growing cattle and finishing animals. For lactating cows, you might go up to 10 to 12 ounces, depending on body condition and milk production demands. But never, and I mean never, jump straight to high doses. Now here's another thing most people get wrong. They don't account for the total fat in the diet. Your cattle are already getting fat from other sources, corn, distiller's grains, cottonseed, whatever else is in your ration. If you push total dietary fat above 8% of dry matter intake, you start seeing problems, Rumen function slows down, fiber digestion drops, and you actually hurt performance instead of helping it. So before you add bypass fat, calculate what's already there. If you're not sure how to do this, take your feed ingredients, check the fat percentage on each one, multiply by the pounds you're feeding, add it all up. Keep total fat between 5 and 7% of dry matter, with the bypass fat making up the supplemental portion. This is the range where magic happens. And speaking of magic, let me tell you about the economics, because this will blow your mind. Yes, bypass fat costs more per pound than regular fat, but remember, you're getting almost double the usable energy. So when you do the math based on energy delivered, not just price per ton, bypass fat often comes out cheaper. 
Plus, the improved feed conversion means your cattle reach target weight faster, you spend less on feed overall, and your cost per pound of gain drops significantly. One rancher I work with tracked his numbers religiously. Before bypass fat, his feed conversion was 7.2 pounds of feed per pound of gain. After switching to a properly formulated bypass fat program, he dropped to 5.8 pounds of feed per pound of gain. Same genetics, same management, just that one change. Over a hundred head finishing lot, that difference saved him over $15,000 in feed costs in one year alone. Now here's the cliffhanger I promised you earlier. There's one specific type of bypass fat that outperforms all the others, and it's not the most expensive one. In fact, some of the priciest products on the market are actually less effective than this particular formulation. But before I tell you which one it is, you need to understand why it works better. The key is fatty acid profile. Not all fats contain the same types of fatty acids. Some are saturated, some are monounsaturated, some are polyunsaturated. And each type has different effects on cattle performance. The bypass fat that consistently delivers the best results contains high levels of palmitic acid and oleic acid in specific ratios. Palmitic acid, which is a saturated fat, is incredible for energy density and body condition. Oleic acid, a monounsaturated fat, supports that coat quality and cellular health I mentioned earlier. The product that combines these in the most effective ratio, calcium salts of palm fatty acids. Not hydrogenated fat, not prilled fat, not straight vegetable oil, calcium salts of palm oil. This is what that rancher with the unbelievable photos was using, and here's why it dominates. Palm oil naturally contains around 44% palmitic acid and 39% oleic acid. When it's converted to calcium salts, it gets that rumen protection while maintaining this ideal fatty acid balance. Compare that to some other bypass fats on the market. Hydrogenated fats might have good rumen protection, but they're loaded with trans fats that actually impair cellular function. Prilled fats often have inconsistent protection. Some gets destroyed in the rumen, some doesn't, so your results are unpredictable. Straight calcium soaps of various oils can work, but if the fatty acid profile is wrong, you won't get those dramatic visual results. Now, does this mean calcium salts of palm oil is the only option? No, but if you want that combination of rapid weight gain, incredible coat shine, and improved overall health, this is your best bet. And here's how to use it for maximum results. Mix it into your TMR or grain ration. Don't top dress it. When it's thoroughly mixed, every bite contains the same amount, ensuring consistent intake. If you're feeding on pasture without TMR, use a free choice mineral feeder with the bypass fat mixed into a protein or mineral carrier at a ratio that limits intake naturally. Target consumption should be around six ounces per head per day for growing cattle, eight to 10 ounces for finishing cattle, and 10 to 12 ounces for high producing lactating cows. Monitor body condition scores weekly. You should start seeing changes within two to three weeks. By week four, that coat shine becomes obvious. By week eight, the weight gain acceleration is measurable. And by week 12, you'll have cattle that look like they're on a completely different nutrition program than your neighbors heard, even though you might be spending less. One more critical point that almost everyone misses. Bypass fat works synergistically with other nutrients, especially protein and minerals. If your cattle are protein deficient, adding fat won't fix that. You'll just have fat protein deficient cattle. Make sure your crude protein levels are appropriate for the class of cattle. 14 to 16% for growing animals, 12 to 14% for finishing cattle. Check your mineral program too, especially calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin E, because fat metabolism requires these cofactors. Here's a question I get constantly. Can you use bypass fat with grass-fed cattle, or is this just for grain-fed operations? Absolutely, you can use it with grass-fed. In fact, some of the most dramatic results I've seen were on grass-based systems. Pasture quality fluctuates throughout the season, and bypass fat provides that consistent, high-energy input that smooths out those variations. Your cattle maintain body condition through dry spells, cows breed back faster post-calving, and yes, you still get that gorgeous coat shine that adds value at sale time. The key with grass-fed is delivery method. Use a free choice mineral feeder. Mix the bypass fat with a palatable protein source like soybean meal or dried distiller's grains and formulate it so cattle self-regulate to the target intake. A good starting formula is one part bypass fat to four parts protein carrier, offered free choice alongside your regular mineral program. All right, let's talk about what not to do, because these mistakes will cost you money and results. First, don't buy bypass fat without checking the actual fatty acid profile. Some products claim to be bypass fat but have minimal rumen protection. Ask for third-party testing data showing rumen bypass percentage. It should be at least 75%. Second, don't ignore storage conditions. Fat can go rancid, especially in hot weather. Store in a cool, dry place, use within 90 days of opening, and never feed rancid fat. It destroys vitamin E and causes oxidative stress. 
Third, don't expect miracles if your base nutrition is garbage. Bypass fat amplifies a good program. It doesn't fix a broken one. So here's what I want you to do right now. If you found this valuable, if you're already thinking about how you'll implement this on your operation, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for Biggest Bulls and Cow, because we're building something special here, a community of serious cattlemen and cattlewomen who don't settle for average results, who actually want to understand the science behind what works, and who are committed to raising healthier, more profitable cattle. Drop a comment below and tell me, are you currently using any fat supplementation in your herd? If so, what type? And what results have you seen? If you're not using any, what's holding you back? Is it cost? uncertainty about how to start, or just lack of information. Share your experience, because your insights help everyone here learn and grow. This channel only works when we all contribute to the conversation. And if you know another rancher, another cattle producer who's struggling with body condition, poor coat quality, or high feed costs, share this video with them. Real knowledge shared between real producers. That's how we all get better. That's how we build operations that don't just survive, but actually thrive in this challenging industry. Remember, every day you wait to optimize your nutrition program is a day of lost gain, wasted feed, and unrealized profit. The cattle in those before and after photos I mentioned at the start, they're not special genetics. They're not getting illegal growth promotants. They're just being fed smarter. And now you have the exact information to do the same thing. So take action today. Calculate your current fat intake, source quality calcium salts of palm fatty acids, introduce it gradually, monitor your results, and watch your cattle transform. This isn't theory. This isn't hype. This is proven nutritional science that works in the real world on real ranches with real economics. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this community, and I'll see you in the next one where we're diving into something equally game-changing. Until then, keep learning, keep improving, and keep raising the best cattle you possibly can. Subscribe to Biggest Bulls and Cow, and let's keep growing together.